Aloha to everyone. Let's enjoy our journey in Skellige and continue our blue tunic challenge. As Jennifer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. <laughs> That's lovely music. Oh, I love it. Oh. Keep going, I'll go. Alright, girls. No, one more. And we're here. Yes, my idea was to walk here. Good. Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them. A hidden. <laughs> Would you like to buy something for Mustache? <laughs> Maybe. Let me see what you got. <laughs> Everything here is perfect. 
oils all right we do have everything mm -hmm. so long <laughs> Fialmi, I've got bad news for you. Your father's ship sank off the southern coast of Art Skellig. Far as I know, there were no survivors. Only a few bodies were recovered. They were already blue and blood. I could only recognize Jovik by his tattoo. Do what I can to prepare the body for the funeral, but brace yourself. It won't be a pretty sight. I know what was on that ship, everything you had. So if you need to borrow some coin, don't hesitate to write. Your father and I were bound by blood. I'll never refuse your help. Valin. Emily Fortune. Alright. Let's see if we can uh, make this. Quest because sometimes the enemies are just too OP, especially in the water. If you can't one or two shot them, hmm, you're a gunner. Oh boy, silence! Actually, a nice silence. But yeah, it could be tricky. I think I see it. Yeah, siren. Sirens are quite fast, by the way. Even a Witcher cannot outrun them, outswim them, actually. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So we've got the new garden armor, that's what I saw. And uh, it's not something. Wonderful. Now uh, here is the Ursine, I think, we got it by raids. Uh, so, let's see if my memory is good.
Ernest Warhunt for the Witcher Gerd. Let it hereby be known that the Witcher known as Gerd has committed all crimes against the Duke of Tyra, namely insulting Her Grace Majesty, resisting Her Grace Guards, collaborating with the Usurper and other such deeds bringing harm to Duke Tyra. Any persons providing him shelter will be considered complicit in his crimes. It is the duty of each and every one of Duke of Tyra's subjects to provide any and all possible help the agencies of the law seek to capture the bandit, for the apprehension of which of Gerd, dead or alive, will have set a reward in the amount of three R C denars. So, when the Witcher stops being a uh, grave, he's a bandit. Ah, they would say terrorist in these days, in the name for her best la 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 la. Well. The poor Witcher. Inky Snows. That was right before dusk. Then a Witcher followed, dirty and unshaven, and stinking worse than a fisherman from Fahari, asked for a room and a bucket of water so he could freshen up some. First, I didn't want to let him in on account of the bloody sack he was carrying, but then it came out he had arranged to meet Jorgen Ahrenhand here, and a friend of Jorgen's, a friend of mine. Uh, illegible. Sun had long set by the time Jorgen shot. Witcher handed him that sack, and we all learned why it stank so bad. Inside was the head of a siren. Jorgen had contracted the Witcher to take it down. It attacked some folk in a cave in the northwestern part of Speakerlook. Seeing it dead cheered folk all full fast, and Jorgen, happy as a clown, started buying everybody else. The Witcher refrained at first, saying he was run off to take care of a strigger and the ruins of a fortress on the northern edge of the island. But in the end, he gave in. After all, there is no refusing Jorgen illegible. Made a lovely he heap of coin that day, for the sun started rising, not a man had gone home. The witcher got drunk with Jorgen and started telling us tales, then we sat down for some gwent. Jurt, he might be a first class warrior, but he is one lousy card player. Was half his reward for that siren to me, and drunk the other half. Then, wanting to win it back, he wagered a diagram for some kind of steel sword. To my eye, it was a scrap of rubbish. It's some things you gotta do for the sake of sportsmanship and camaraderie. Ah, I don't know this word, but I don't know what it means. Friendship. Oh, except the waker. Well, this jerk guy, I mean, he definitely is not good at cards. Alright, so we were here, here there's nothing. So now. We have the steel sword, by the way, which is wonderful. Yep, here it is. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's not that great now at this uh, very moment, but at level 34, it will have 20 adrenaline points, 75 critical hit damage. So up to this, we will use the axe. Oh, there is some Karamorphin. Ooh, such a, such a wonderful sword, by the way. If you have Karamorphin, I will do it for you. and. Why not? Because I do. You got repel like you just for a day? <laughs> don't worry. Because I will wear wool far more for the red battles ahead. Now we need to somehow go right through here, although here it will be dangerous, but we will manage to survive. I suppose. As here they say, suppose, not suppose. Alright. A beautiful abandoned village. I can live here, by the way. Far from people. <laughs> uh, so. Um. Better we make our own, by the way. 
Yep. Don't worry, we'll come back for them. They are always spawning. And they may come. So we should be careful of this uh, 30 level Cyclop that can one shot, one shot us. Right. If you were a mage carrot, we can burn him and eliminate him, but whoa, 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 what the, what the, well. So, they see me. Definitely. <laughs> wow. It's very interesting that X. There's a lot of ammo piercing. Haha, <laughs> double block. I mean, double. Not block, but. Uh... I forgot how it was. It's not blocking, it's a counter attack. Oh no! Oh yes, this is just the camp. And here are the real bandits. <laughs> that axe is just... Wonderful. Haha, <laughs> that Garrett, just look at him. Alright, let's search for it. <gasps> Coolio, here it is. Sweener. I have been sitting with these damned well carcasses for ages and still no sign of Steinfin. Either he has wrecked against the rocks or he has left me high and dry. Nice, high and dry. I thought Enki not to bring that bastard into this. Now I don't know what to do. Who else would be willing to buy this sword? Maybe we ought to take it back to Kerr Trody? Maybe Krach will laugh and let it all slide? Remember how it stank in the hood when the rat died behind Mars and Das bed? Well, it stinks even worse here, and it's cold. Right back soon, or even better. Come, illusion. Or ew. Good, now I need to, to give back this Kulio. Oh, and we have uh, fast travel. That's Wonderful, by the way. And wolves. I can hear them. Hmm. So, oh, by the way, here are drones, and these drones you can use these pods to get the uh, red mutagens, by the way. Uh, and another thing that I shall mention, just because I'm good uh, and I know things. <laughs> After all, I played this game five times. If you uh, decided to come to this path, just be very careful because you will uh, encounter a dreadful insectoids. 
Може би да няма често. I had never tested some bumps on the camera, by the way. That's interesting. Oh, come here, come here, Dana. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. This could happen, but all right. Now let me see. Yeah, green mutagen. Green mutagen. Ah, red mutagen. I told you. So you can, you know, come back here after hours and days, and eventually make a lot of red mutagens. We may come back, but uh, the other way is just go for the Ursin, uh, just as we will do for the Ursin parts and these are goes they are just mm -hmm, devastating. So we will get a lot of red mutagens, but not now. Now, 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 and here, I, I mean here and here, oof, we need to be level 26 after all. So, let's go back and give this sword. Uh, still we can get the full experience. I this will be actually the first time that I get the full experience of this quest. I'm always like level 21 and the difference is 6 levels so mm -hmm. So there's truth to that ladder of the ice giant. Vagabond. Vagabond. Is that a profession now? <laughs> uh, it's making a reference from the first of the second second video when Geralt meet um, the merchant of the mirrors. Who made that be? You blame? Need to see it's a witcher. A monster stare, eh? What's it doing here? It's a friend of the Yarns. Maybe come to visit. Indeed. What is it? Retrieve the property you lost. Could you? Thanks be to Freya, where'd you find it? Northern part of the Isle, near the Whale Cemetery. Don't ask me how it got there, long story. At any rate, don't need to worry about the thieves. They won't steal ever again. Your reward, sure as hell earned it. And a lot a bit more from myself. If Kuyu you'd not been found, I'd have had to wash the shame away with my own blood. Oh boy. Not your experience, really? Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. <laughs> That's creepy. So long. Oh, he, he just booked. Whoa. Whoa. Sometimes it happens. Yep. When you don't see the merchant icon, yeah. So, um, they never give you the full experience after all. It's always true experience, but at least we save his life because otherwise uh, he would have committed a. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Skellige Warrior Denzel. Nice. I saw, by the way. That's a joke because these guys always are telling me that they prefer axes. But we shall see now if we um, if actually when we wear axe, will, will they say this again? So possession or the word of uh, Unvik? Actually possession. But possession will give us a lot of experience. But alright, let's make the possession. Oh, the phantom. The phantom. Oh, yes, yes, the phantom is uh, good to be made because we will be captured. Yes, you're gonna see and understand why. Why? 
and the Phantom of Fear. Now, hmm, hmm, so. We'll go here, but first we need to go to Edinburgh. So we managed to do this. Alright, alright, not bad, not bad, but on the continent we, yes, we need to explore this here. This here and this, this, this too. Oh, let me see. Yes, here this is an obelisk of power which is very useful. Let's come first here, then here and here. Get to, to the notice boards. Yeah, another woman. It's kind of warrior. Oh, by the way, we need to finish the Lumber quest too. Friend of Yarl's, see if you have a common folk. Bah, devil take you. Yeah, no respect. Those blondie. Of course, you're the savior. Hey, old man. Can see from afar you're no magpie shit. Indeed, that's the respect. Surprise you, but since you ask, Ram's head soup. Oh boy, Ram, my favorite. It'll be ready soon. Just don't eat up all the eyes, save some for your dad. Oh boy, yet carries himself proud. There ain't no kick as more as here. Dad repel like you just for a day. Kiki Morse. <laughs> Alright, let's read. A duo for Guna. Alright, uh, we need to read this actually. This is for us. Contact the Stolen Horn. Yeah, I know about this. Now we need to find the Stolen Horn. We found the Stolen Sword, so why not to find the Stolen Horn? Hey, don't worry, we won't get a lot of experience, but a good word. I, Holger Blackhand, do hereby announce the following. The warriors who brought shame on themselves and their line at the battle of the Sodden Feuds have shown that the punishment I meted out to them was far too lenient. Before departing Anskelic, they stole the horn of my ancestors from my hall. I've entrusted the task of retrieving it to my steward, Matthias. Whoever brings him the horn will taste of my generosity. Whoever helps the cowards and thieves who took it will taste my wrath. Nice! I should actually write this kind of uh, letters. <laughs> it's, it's all wonderful, by the way. That's how we do it. Undiscovered locations, a hallowed horn, and uh, yes, I think it is level. Yes, that, uh, but, but still, don't worry. We, we are going right here, so I mean, on the quest, so we will come here. Don't worry. Um, meanwhile. Uh, let's visit this. Uh, yes. So we go up. Oops. Oh. We serve her who is virgin mother and crown. What? Uh, this is the Drummond clan. The clan. Drummond. <laughs> Your da's not going to kill anyone, but you can't stay with him. You're a Drummond, Harvard's and Crete. I can't leave him. I'm carrying his child. What's left for me to throw myself in the sea? Ah, uh, that's sad, by the way. Why are these stupid stories about the clans? If people are loving each other or just want to be together, why not? What if he is from Kalan X and the other is from Quan Z? I mean, uh, just I think logic. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. As Gerard said, I have seen uglier sides in my life. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, well, that's so romantic. Last 
by it worries me. It's the calm before the storm. Greetings. Want to look over our stock? Take it everything here's for sale? Sure, if you can afford it. The Jarl's a stickler for quality, so we keep no rubbish here. Zarakanian Zephyrs, Mahak and Battle Axes, they're leading short swords. Where'd you get so many continental goods? The sea provides. And if it doesn't provide on its own, you hack off hands that hold swords in a death grip. <laughs> what? You think we just found all this on the shore, like seashells at low tide? What else do you bring back from the raids? We focus on the essentials. Fancy wines, silk, baubles of all sorts. Oh, and wenches, for if we don't make proper <laughs> use of them, who will? Have you heard about Hollering Hulda, known as the Hellraiser, Madman Lugus's wife? Or Goldilocks Sansa, the most beautiful maid in the world in her time? Taken in raids, both. No comment. <laughs> Show me what you got. Uh... Yeah, I'm just just looking. All right, so uh, again the same things. Things. Yeah. Hmm. So we will trade. Uh, no, we wait for this. I will. Uh, Yes, change it. Uh, level 22. I do have a better axe. That is waiting. Still so. Yeah, th that's good, but I scale it long. Uh, I mean, I'll just save this. Oh! Right, but this guy is a piercing. Here, be careful in the short. This is heavy. Heavy, and that's it. Which reminds me, we need to make the pearl quest. I mean, the quest for the pearls. Yeah. What's this arrest event? Strong as he looks. Jarl's punishing him for murder. Well, what is it? Just out of curiosity, why do they call you Madman? Yeah! That's why. <laughs> Two clans on one island. Tough to be neighbors so near each other. A neighbor is one who lives nearby, not one who stole half your home. The Ancrete seized our lands. In the days of Harold the Cripple. That was three centuries ago. Doesn't change the fact they had no right. I'll rid Art Skellig of crack and his brood yet. Oh boy. Farewell, Lugas. Could use a wink or two. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Where are you going? Oh, that's all right. I told you that we will visit uh, these two places the place of power and then go to Endborn.
You're looking to buy something? Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. Come on, let's do some trading. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Heroes of Skellige. I don't know, these books, I haven't read them, by the way, believe it or not. So long. Nice, by the way, beautiful sun. Legend states that when Otko, son of Hemdal, was sailing to Hinger's Isle, a terrible storm broke. Otko called for his father's help, but his father couldn't hear, for powerful thunder drowned out Otko's voice. Ugh. In despair, Otko began yelling for anyone who heard his cries to come to his aid. In reply, Freya descended and gave Otko a set of pipes. What? When the hero blew on them, the waves calmed. The storm passed and Otko could safely reach the shore. Learned for the help of the goddess had given Otko, he ordered him to raise a temple to her on the isle. Ever since that day, Skelligers have worshipped Freya, and the women of Otko's line have often chosen to become her priestesses. Oh, nice. Heroes of Skellige, Modov. Modov, progenitor of Khan Drummond who was granted mastery over the Isle of Unvik. Unlike his brothers, he displayed no extraordinary abilities. He was neither wise, nor especially brave, nor did he possess any particular gift which would make him a great individual. He resented Hemdal for not bestowing greater talent upon him. Hemdal, however, insisted he had blessed each of his sons with equal gifts, but not all revealed themselves at once. Modov would have to wait for the right moment for his gifts to step forward. Yet the hero was impatient and couldn't wait for this moment. Instead, again and again he sought out trouble of the worst sort, hoping each time his hidden talent would shine. Hemdal grew angry with his son and decided to bury his gift even deeper. Modov died after a long and unruly life, filled with incredible adventures, but a life during which he never discovered his talent. His descendants decided to continue his search elsewhere. They abandoned Undvik and invaded Artskelik, eventually taking half that isle for themselves. They now seek to take the other half, but whether doing so would finally reveal their line's unique gift, or no one knows. Ugh. Strange story. Mm, gifts. Bandits, I suppose. Hey, hey. hey that got bullets. Oh. <laughs> I do have bollocks or balls. Uh -huh. That's good. Oh, wonderful. 
and beautiful, beautiful sunset. Now, let's continue. Yeah, personally, by the way. Yes, let's replenish our potions, decoctions. Bad idea. Ooh. Can you imagine Garrett with the polar arm? Uh, that would be hilarious. Yeah, against the pack of wolves. Yep, I do remember correctly. But there is a place of power here. Of power should draw from Ooh, it. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Now, now, well, basically, we can visit this place, so now then we can come. Through here, I don't remember. Yeah, I think these were all, all but fine. We're gonna see and we can run. That's good. Raining, wow, there is snow. Really, that's that's strange, but beautiful weather. Goats and Stage. Oh yes, so this was an uh, un uninhabited place, and there was a, a fast travel or something nearby. If I remember correctly. Yep. Here it is. Interesting weather, by the way. There is snow, it's running, there is sun, there is wind. Wow, beautiful sky. And my Geralt is somehow not freezing, by the way. Ah, abandoned site. Yeah, right. Alright, this would be tough. We need to survive. So. What should be it? A double decoction or there you know. It's good. Alright. But right, it's good.
that's a non for by the way. Bones and just wonderful with the axe. It's just wonderful using axe, by the way. Ooh. We save another village. Beautiful. From the bottom of my heart. And we almost leveled up. Let me see just this guy. I think there is... Uh... Let me see. Huh? Cheers! Greetings! Looking to buy? Show me your wares. Oh, nothing special, although I will get this. Doesn't have money. So long. Hey there. Come take a gander. Alright, I'll visit this place, this place, uh, make the question mark, go back to and go and stop the video. And we'll continue in the next video. What is this motion doing? Running in circles. Just a small village. Come on. Listen <clears throat> in distress, which means bandits. What? No.
Where is the blacksmith, by the way? Thanks, mate. Farrell, you know the place. I'll be forged there. Come and visit. I'll have a reward for you. All right. Where is this place? Oh, perhaps it is this town. I don't know, we shall see. Yeah, perhaps he is going out there. Come on, watching. Slow now. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, there's this. Here's this guy. From barrel hoops to blades, I've got it oh, all. Oh, this another one. But I'm guessing you're more interested in blades. Yes, we're not. Show me what you got then. Going to play cards. So long. Fair winds and following seas. So I'll just uh, mark it here so we can. Come back. Let's see what was here. Oh yes, I, I need to eliminate the noon raid eventually when it shows up. And here there was a chest that I need to do. And here, yes, right, let's go. What? Now, well, well, we we are down here, so we may go to place and go. Dun, 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 dun. Contract the Phantom of Elberg. As the madman Lugos said to us, Go this far, clearly you know how to read. So, with the rest of the video, a raid sprung upon Elberg and covered the whole isle in fog and put out the light. It in our lighthouse. If you are afraid to face a ghost in battle, stay far from Elberg, for there you will find neither gold nor glory, only death. But if you have faced such phantoms before, then know that I, Jorund of Erenbjorn, will pay my own gold to you 
if you drive off the spirits from our clan's territories. Contract monster on the high road. I need a hero, a man favored by the gods, or a witcher. Anyone really, who's not afraid to stand up to the nosed creature that's been attacking folk walking the main road to Warwick. My rewards being aside, if you don't fear death and long for fame in ballads, come see the village elder. Thorleif, son of Bearholz. Sviri, you stay home, you've done enough around this. That's interesting. Monster on the what? Hmm. Hmm, that's that strange. Hmm. Where is this? Uh, it's, it's very strange because I didn't. I didn't actually. Virgin Mother and Clone. Ah! Virgins. Now, how about Clone? like. And. Here it is. I'll stop here, but we have a blacksmith. Thank you for watching. As you can see, 88 question marks and we still haven't visited uh, Warwick, so we need to go to Warwick too, by the way. And yes, Harbicon, uh, Martin Coast, Swarlock, oh, here we have just a lot of things to do. It's just big. Uh -huh. Thank you all. See you soon.